I'm gonna share with you my goals, okay? My goals in life. Before, after the age of 19 years of age, I only had one goal. It wasn't to get money or fame or status or have health or get a career or any kind of car or nothing. That was literally a joke. That it was nothing. All I cared about, the number one priority of my life was attaining Nibbana or Nirvana, okay? And I've reached that stage. So congratulations to me. Let's all, all sit here and watch and pat myself on the back. Good job. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I've gotten, okay? I've, I've penetrated through the universe. I can see the total emptiness and nothingness of the space. So fantastic. Phenomenal. Thank you so much. Yet, after completing this, what, am I just going to go uh, sit and uh, you know, just look up in the, in the stars like this in the sky and just be still for nothing for, for all of eternity? Absolutely not. No. So I'm going to share with you my next goal, okay? And now I literally don't care about anything else except this one thing. And I'll share with you what it is. Is it uh, getting fame or getting YouTube status or money or career or finances or health or a uh, wife or children or, uh, you know, being a president or being a business leader? Absolutely not. Zero. I don't care about that at all. All that stuff is going to happen to me naturally. Fantastic. I don't care. But I only care about one thing. And what is that? Mastering over my own body. Mastery over my own physiology. Mastery over my own life, energy and process itself. And, you know, if this wasn't available to be seen by me, it probably wouldn't, wouldn't have been a goal. But because, you know, beforehand, I, before I have this goal, before I had this goal, I had the goal of attaining liberation or nirvana or nibbana, as uh, the Buddha called it. And I really desperately wanted it because other men have achieved it. And that stage or that presence would have, would have been phenomenal, fantastic for me to see. You know, that's why I wanted it, because other men have achieved it. And I'm modeling all after very wise spiritual men, masters that walk this earth. So if they can achieve it and they can have it, I can have it too. And that's how I got it. Now, I only know one man, really, that has attained this goal. And it seems very attainable to me. And that's, of course, Sadhguru. Sadhguru is uh, Chakrashwara, as it's called. Chakrashwara means someone who has mastery over all of his chakras. In essence, in total, there are 114 chakras. Two are, two are out of the bounds of the body. 112 in this physical casing. And, you know, all of this can be summarized into seven basic centers in the body. And you all know where that, those are and what that all means. So a person who is a Chakrashwara has mastered his seven dimensions and can simultaneously leave his life energy through all of the seven energy points at the same time, simultaneously, and, uh, you know, attain and realize Maha Samadhi just like this. So usually when yogis or spiritual masters decide to leave, okay, they say, hey, I'm going to leave. And they sit like this. Usually they sit, sometimes they lay down. Very rarely they, do they stand because it's harder to, to do this when you're standing. And then uh, they channel up their energy forward. They let go of the locks that's binding their body in place. And they really amp up their energy. And poof, poof it leaves to the top of the head, to the skull. And that's it. And now you're just a corpse. So, okay, don't do this. I'm not advising you to do this. It's just for entertainment or just spiritual talk. This is just spiritual mumbo jumbo, okay? Good job. Yet, uh, a person who has mastery over all seven dimensions of his body, he can do this simultaneously. So he has enough energy within himself, he can master enough intensity, and through all the seven, life can simultaneously leave. And that, you know, in a, in a, a place that a person attains Maha Samadhi, which is what it's called, Maha Samadhi, meaning leaving your body consciously. You're not dying through old age, you're not dying through destroying your body, you're not dying through any other means. You're consciously deciding, not through, you know, destroying your body by, you know, drinking something or something bad. Not like that. You have a conscious control over the life process within yourself, within your own body, and you can say, okay, you know, at the age of 80 or 90 or 100 years old, whenever you choose it for yourself, okay, it's time to go. And poof, you leave. Just like that. Just like leaving through the door. Okay, you have conscious control over that. So that places, those places that yogis have chosen to leave their body to manifest this uh, Maha Samadhi for themselves, uh, it's called their Samadhi. So a person that chooses to leave through Maha Samadhi next to a rock, that rock or that stone will be imprinted with that energy pretty much for forever, for a long time, a thousand years or more. So anyone that walks by that place, subtly, intuitively, they'll feel, oh my God, there's something magical happened here. This rock has imbibed that energy. But Maha Samadhi usually is of one kind. You just leave the, 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 through the top of the head, through the crown, and poof, you're gone. So it's kind of one particular energy, uni, uni energy-wise. Whereas a person who has left through all seven is also very distinctly different. And there's only one place that I see on Earth. I, I'm sure there are tons of them in the Himalayas. That's the only place that I could 
foresee them happening, or actually you see this happening in the Himalayas. You know, it's happened before in the past in the Himalayan mountains. Yeah, the only place that uh, currently I can point to this, and it's something that's achievable and reachable, it's not some Himalayan trek, is in the Vailangiri Mountains, in the seventh hill. Okay, there's a rock, I'm pretty sure this is what happened. And if you can just tune into the space, it's like the, the whole imprint of the universe is there. What does that mean? Well, all 114 energy points are active in that kind of rock or stone. Why? Because a person has blasted himself forward through all 114 points simultaneously at the same time. Poof. Okay, or all seven, I should say. And everything there, literally everything is there. So um, I'm tuning into the space. I'm eating the space. I'm imbibing the space. I want to literally be a copy of this place. I want to manifest my reality exactly as it is simultaneously see that happening. And I literally don't see anything more worthwhile than this. You know, I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube and that requires watch hours. So please watch my videos and watch them full length and watch my playlist. Literally watch everything. Because I have 1,500 now watch hours. I need 4,000. So I'm uh, almost halfway. Yeah, this is insignificant. This is nothing. Well, I'm going to get paid a few dollars and some people are going to watch me. Fantastic. I literally want to be a master of the universe. That's exactly what this is called. You know, Chakrashwara is being a master of your destiny, master of the universe, master over the life process itself. And what's more is that there's a man walking around that's currently attained it. You know, a master of the universe, a master of reality. Now imagine, you know, we're sitting in some hut or maybe I'm talking through you, to you through a YouTube video and you're watching me up until this point now. And I'm telling you, hey, you know, yeah, we're on the spiritual path and yeah, it seems like you need to do good things and kind of meditate a little bit and gather some wisdom. But uh, you know what? There's a master of the universe or there's a master of reality walking this place uh, with a human body, with an earth body, just like you and I currently today. If you told me this, you know, uh, maybe like five or six years ago that you told me exactly these words, I'd be like, where? Show me how. I would literally buy a plane ticket and be off to that man right then and there. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> now I wouldn't do that. I don't need to be there physically with him because I'm physically with him virtually all the time. There's no... Uh, there's no space needed for me to access this type of dimension. I'm accessing him virtually all the time, and I am. And uh, yes, it's all fantastic and wonderful. So, yeah, Sadhguru is a master of reality, a master of meditation, a master of the universe, master over the seven chakras. And I'm not sure if he's going to leave through the seven chakras in this lifetime. That's probably takes some kind of energy to do so. Maybe he's going to you know, choose to go naturally. Who knows? But um, also, I'm not sure how my end is going to go. This is definitely a very worthwhile goal that I have to master my whole seven dimensions. And I shall do that, okay? I'm, I'm in the process of doing that. And there's nothing literally that's going to that's gonna stop me from doing this. Not even shedding this body is going to stop me from doing this. I will have mastery over this whole life process and uh, everything there is to know about life itself. And uh, pretty much I'll be just as a repository of Sadhguru. Whatever Sadhguru's wisdom is, whatever he's outpoured it, I'll consume it all into myself and I'll be just like him. Cheers. Shambo. So that's it ladies and gentlemen that's the end of this show thank you so much for watching and um shambo